What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Average Guys Gourmet. I'm Tony Rican, and it's fall outside. The temperature's gonna start dropping, so I got a great Puerto Rican recipe for the fall. A pollo guisado, a nice chicken stew. We're gonna make this with an arroz blanco, a white rice as traditionally seen in Puerto Rico. So let's just go ahead and get started and jump right into this one. Boyo guisado is actually a very simple recipe. I'm starting with my chicken breast. What I did is I cut my large chicken breast into smaller pieces. I left the skin on and the bones in. Then I season them with some oregano, some adobo, a little bit of garlic powder, and cumin. I let it sit so those flavors can absorb in nicely. What I've got in here, I've got my oil heating. I'm going to go ahead and put my chicken in the oil to let it brown for a few minutes. chicken starts to brown a little bit, it's time to go ahead and add our sofrito. Now what I did is I make my own sofrito at home and then I freeze it. So I've got like little sofrito ice cubes. Um, what I'm doing is I'm adding five of these. You can do five tablespoons. If you make your own, check out my recipe. It's a really good one. Then you're just going to use five ice cubes of sofrito. We're going to add those in, let them melt, and let it go for a little bit longer. cooks for a couple of minutes. We're going to go ahead and we're going to add our tomato sauce. I'm adding one can. Then I'm going to fill the can with water just to clean it out and add a little bit more. At this time I'm going to go ahead and add my sazon into there too. I'm going to go ahead and let this cook for a couple of minutes. let this boil for a couple minutes, it's time to go ahead and add our carrots in. I want to add my carrots in early so they have time to soften up. After that has had time to cook in a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and add my olives. I also have a little bit of olive juice in there just for the flavor. Then, I'm going to go ahead and pour some water in here, just so I cover everything up. Now I'm going to cover this and let it cook for about 10 minutes, just so everything can get those flavors absorbed into it. So I've let this boil for about 10 minutes, letting everything cook and those flavors absorb. So I went ahead and I turned my heat down to about uh, medium, low medium, and I'm going to add my potatoes in. Once I add my potatoes in, I'm going to go ahead and let this go for about another 10 minutes on the low heat, but this time I'm not going to cover it. I'm going to let this cook so this, uh, so this can thicken up and become a nice stew. So my pollo guisado was on the stove top for about 15 minutes. I let it thicken up a little bit and I let those potatoes soften. Then I went ahead and I made my white rice. White rice is simple. You don't need instructions for that, do you? Anyways, I went ahead and put this all together and it looks great. So now it's time to just go ahead and tear into this and give it a try. Mmm. This tastes awesome. You guys will love it. Anyone you make it for will love it. So we'll see you next time, and I hope you enjoy.